The Arizona Cardinals are the biggest surprise of the NFL season up to this point because last year they came in last place in the NFC West. They did show a lot of fight. They had a few upsets here and there with Joshua Dobbs at QB. And then when Kyler Murray came back, they were an even more feistier team. And going into this season, the expectations were fairly moderate. Nobody was expecting for them to be in the playoffs, but nobody was expecting Arizona to be a trash team either. They were probably going to be around that six, eight win mark. But so far, they're six and four. They're in first place in the NFC West, and they are winners of four straight. And they absolutely obliterated the New York Jets today. 31 to six was the final. And I got into it with one of my homies in prison. He was telling me to bet on the Jets. And I was telling him, hell no, I'm not about to bet on the New York Jets. I like the Arizona Cardinals. He was like, boy, you tripping taking the Cardinals over Aaron Rodgers. And I was like, no, you tripping taking one of the worst coach teams in the NFL over a team right now that's catching fire at the right time. Arizona is no pretender. They're no fraud. This team is actually legit. Their defense isn't all that great. But they do get big stops when it matters the most. And they haven't allowed the touchdown in their last two games. And they also have big wins over the Chargers and the 49ers, who right now are in the thick of the playoff chase. Kyler Murray, though, has been the big story for Arizona this year. He quietly is playing MVP level football. He has the second best touchdown interception ratio in the league at. 12 to 3, which is only second to Lamarvelous. He has the second best quarterback rating in the league. And he has 371 rushing yards to go along with four rushing touchdowns. This is the best season of Kyler Murray's career. And when Kyler Murray is playing great football, the Arizona Cardinals are a really tough team to beat. And they probably could be an eight win team if you had that game week one against the Buffalo Bills when you kind of just fell apart in the second half and the Bills came back and won in comeback fashion. You could have won that game. There were a few losses that the four, that the Arizona Cardinals took earlier during this season after the ball was bounce in a different direction. They could have the second best record of the NFC, second behind the Detroit Lions. And they gave the Detroit Lions a pretty tough game. They only lost that game 12 to 20 to 3 or 20 to 13. So the Arizona Cardinals are one of those teams that every year we have somebody that goes from worst to first. The Cardinals could be that team this season. The NFC West is down. The Rams, they're getting healthier. They could heat up. But the Arizona Cardinals, the gap between them and the Rams, I don't feel it's all that big. Yeah, the Rams got a couple of better star players. They got better receivers. But... Arizona has a loaded offense. You got that tight end, Trey McBride. He's a stud. James Conner is really underrated. Marvin Harrison Jr. is one of the best rookie wide receivers. You got a really talented offense. You got a lot of weapons. You got a lot of star power on there. The offensive line has played well. And when Kyler Murray's playing at this level, it's really hard to beat this team because he's in the same class that Lamar is. He's one of the greatest athletes that ever play the game of football. Not only is he one of the greatest athletes that the NFL has seen, but he's one of the greatest athletes in sports history. He's up there with guys like Bo Jackson. He was playing baseball too. He was the most dominant high school player in Texas high school football history. Kyler Murray, when he's on, Arizona is one of the better teams in the NFC. And what makes me super thrilled about Arizona ceiling this year is that you don't know how far this team could go. They could be a one-and-done team, or they possibly could shock us all and make it to the NFC Championship. Because right now, this team right now, we don't really know what their ceiling is. Because right now, they're peaking at the right moment where, you know, you keep rattling off these wins like you have today against the Jets, and you're able to beat the teams that you're supposed to beat, and you're able to come up with some upset wins to get some of the better teams on your schedule, we could be looking at a team that probably wins 11, 12 games, and they do make a little bit of noise in the playoffs. When you have a quarterback that's playing this well, 
there's not really any game that you don't have a chance to win and the nfc is wide open right now outside the detroit lions there's no clear-cut definitive number two right behind detroit if i were to ask you right now who's the second best team in the nfc you're probably going to tell me the philadelphia eagles are you sold on nick seriani as the head coach because i know he took them to the super bowl a few years ago but that's when he had an all-star coaching staff jonathan gannon was a defensive coordinator the year the eagles went to the super bowl and He's a current coach of the Arizona Cardinals. Shane Steichen, their OC, he's currently the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. I don't believe that the coaching staff is good enough for the Eagles to go as far as what people think they can, even though they do have arguably the most talented roster in football. I love Arizona a lot more than I love a team like the Philadelphia Eagles or the 49ers right now because they're playing better football and they're a better coach team than what the 49ers and the Eagles are in my opinion Kyle Shanahan has made a couple of head scratching decisions like the 49ers also choked to the Cardinals as well so the Cardinals they're the biggest surprise of the league so far the Minnesota Vikings may have a little bit of say in that but with all the pieces that Minnesota has, I don't think that it's too surprising. And Sam Darnold, we know that he is a serviceable starter in the right situation. Arizona being six and four, beating teams like the 49ers, getting you, you know, close to beating the 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 Detroit Lions and the Buffalo Bills. It shows me that this team right now there's a lot more to go with this squad there is a lot more potential that hasn't really been reached yet and I'm eager to see where this team is going to be at over the next three to four weeks because they got a really good chance to create some distance between them and the rest of everybody else in their division and they could solidify themselves as the second best team in the NFC, possibly the best team. They they almost beat Detroit. Don't forget that. If you can come close to beating Detroit, you definitely have the ability to beat them if you play them again. So look out for the Arizona Cardinals, man. They've been a really big surprise to me this year because I was not expecting them to play this well.